Hello and welcome back. This is the Siberian here with another epic battle replay. This is a 3v3. Uh, our first 3v3 battle replay for Empire 2 Generals. Um, and boy is this an epic battle. In fact, I have some stats about it. Um, so on this first alliance, Alliance 1 we'll call it, the Prussian Savoyan Alliance, there are 14,950 troops. That is a lot of troops. On the French Alliance on the far side, there are three revolutionary French soldier er, armies. There are 14,215 uh, soldiers, bringing it to a grand total of 29,165 soldiers, which is a lot for an empire, which is not the most well-optimized mod. So this is quite the epic battle. Once again, we're on the map of Zorndorf, um, a, a great historic battle that happened versus or between Prussia and uh, Russia. Um, and in fact, the Prussian army really took up a similar position and the Russians were just about here. Um, but I wanna run us through some army comps at least for this first alliance. Um, and once we, as we see more of the French army, we can um, walk through what they have. Uh, but for my army on this extreme left flank, uh, I have three light cavalry in the form of hussars. Wow, I am not speaking well right now. Three hussars for my scout cavalry, um, backed up by some lancer guards and cuirassier. Now, these guys I wanted to keep for the late game, so you don't see much of them till the end. Along with that, we have Prussian, Prussian musketeers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units of it marching down this roadway. Um, I picked the Prussian musketeers because they have 240 men per unit. So they're a nice beefy unit. Um, following that is a 12 pounder foot battery from Prussia is again and then some garrison line infantry in reserve with 250 troops per unit which is quite the number so this is a strong left flank more to the center I have my two elite grenadier units and four Prussian conscript units so really cheap and really expensive um, with my cavalry that I already mentioned and then my field marshal. So that is my army. Pretty infantry heavy. Only one artillery piece. Five cav, with two of them being, well, a medium cav and a, a heavy cav. So fairly balanced, I would say. Uh, but definitely leaning infantry. Um, in our Prussian center army is Raphael. And he brought a ton of infantry. Um, I, I don't even know if we can count it all because they're all moshing together around this little pond, but he brought so many I don't think he brought any cav any artillery, it's just all infantry, which is um, impressive, to say the least. Oh, we're spotting some French cav there, but before we um, go on, I want to point out Dan the Mantis's um, army here. Let's see, we got some militia, Savoyan, is that Piedmontese militia? Some infantry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, those line infantry, one elite line, one elite grenadier and some expats, four expats, I think, and then a couple of sharpshooters. He also had a six pounder, six pounder, 18 pounder, and a 12 pound howitzer, along with some lancer guard and two hussars. Um, so 
he's a pretty balanced army, definitely more artillery heavy than um, either of us on the left flank. And now we are spotting some of the furthest left. Uh, this I think this is PVP's army, so the three French players are PVP, Snake, and Steezy Shots. Um, and I think this is PVP with uh, Snake in the center and Steezy on the, the French right, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, at this point in the replay, um, Raphael had to take a quick uh, bathroom break or step away from the keyboard for, for some reason. So his troops were just marching forward unassisted and there was these French light cav kind of pressing in rather close. So I tried to um, support or, or at least screen his infantry with my three light cavalry there. The three French light cavalry. Ooh, we got our first little conflict here. This is Savoyan Hussars charge the French light cav and break them. Very nice. They're wavering. Oh. And another light cap comes in to, to break them. So one for one. The French lost are down to 65 and the Savoyan Hussars are up at 83. So Savoy definitely took the advantage in that little cap engagement. But these light cap I think are a little cheaper than the Savoy Hussars. So who knows? Seeing quite a bit of French cavalry still moving forward here. The gendarmes are considered medium cav. Some light cav there. <clears throat> I'm pretty much just advancing on the left, trying to keep in time with the masses of infantry that uh, Raphael had here. Keep our Prussian armies intact and also kind of encourage these two armies to link up because this is a pretty sizable gap because they went around the town. So, oh, and we're spotting our first French infantry on this flank. Wow, they, they actually, so that's one thing about revolutionary France is their troops get a marching speed bonus. Because historically they did march really fast compared to um, most armies. So that's why they're able to seize pretty good terrain as they have a bit of a hill there. And the Prussians are now forming up. A few of my uh, hussars got shot, but nothing too crazy. Some chasseurs à cheval. Let's continue checking on this right flank as the Savoyans. I don't know if that's right. What's the plural of or the name for somebody from Savoy. Probably Savoyan, right? Ooh, some artillery coming in. Aiming for the general staff. So far, so good on this flank. Oh, spotted another artillery piece. Some French 18 pounders. These are quite good. Uh, artillery pieces. I think they have above average morale, so they're harder to break on a charge. Two more 18 pounders over there. The French definitely have some heavier artillery than we brought. I only brought the one uh, 12 pounder. Spotting a couple more infantry that are running. And now we're getting Prussian lines um, setting up as the first engagements are being prepared. 
Uh, the expat infantry pushes towards his light cavalry in the woods. Oh. And we have some hussars trying to snipe the French 18 pounders. Is this gonna work? Looks like it won't. The Hussars did manage to scare off the limber, uh, the caissons for these French artillery. So even though the French did a pretty good job of protecting them, um, and the Hussars are going to get shattered here. Yep. They did scare off the limbers and kill a few French artillerymen, which really is a win for these Hussars. And they're probably getting some friendly fire here as well. Meanwhile, we still got shifting troops, some thick, thick French infantry lines. It's Republican France. Silly democratic people. Don't they know that it should be a monarchy? My troops are still just kind of advancing this side of the river. I wasn't going to try and push this side of the river because even if you win this flank, then you have to cross a river and go uphill. So we were primarily pushing here and this right flank. As we will see, you've got some French gendarme and light cav still shifting. The six pounder is kind of exposed if that light cav can charge fast enough. And this 18 pounder is shelling here. Meanwhile, most of the maneuvering is going on on this far right flank of our alliance. We got the French Cav and some Lancer Guards. Oh, this could be deadly. Combination of our... These are some artillery vulnerable targets here. almost connected the, the lines here. The, the one good thing about bringing so much infantry for Prussia is that they are very um, wide. They can occupy a very large stretch of land. All right, first couple infantry shots fired. Very nice. Still advancing on this flank. Tragedy is about to strike, well, soon. Uh, on my artillery piece that I recklessly moved too far forward. So these six pounders did get a volley off. But now, this light cab is charging into the guns civilians but they managed to pull off the charge this unit must not have been ready to fire and that light cav will destroy a six pounder so our already less uh, we already had less artillery pieces or less poundage of artillery and that did not help at all on this flank Looks like the Prussians are still trying to form up. They got a lot of stragglers who were caught in the rough terrain back there. Ooh, a bloody hit. And this artillery piece is being threatened by two cavalry. 
units there. Sharpshooters withdrawing. Maybe taking some friendly fire. And we got a French shift. Let's see, they are pulling back a little bit to slightly more favorable ground. I was trying to put flanking fire on them right here. Um, and they wisely withdrew. So I was unable to get that good flanking shot. So I am still just kind of pushing forward. They have some vulture gears which will win in a shootout against my troops. So I didn't try to engage too much. Once again, I'm kind of a reserve being more passive, having lots of reserves um, so that I can strike wherever I see a vulnerable point or help, help out wherever I see a vulnerable point. But uh, Raphael's Prussians are just straight forward advancing. Nothing subtle, nothing sneaky. They're just advancing into the line of fire. And now we're spotting some more 18 pounders. And though those 18 pounders were aiming at my, I believe they're aiming at my Hussars or something, they managed it with one volley the first volley that they fire taking out three of my 12 pounders which break oh i didn't know they recovered and i don't think that lasts very long yep broken once again and shattered as another artillery hits more artillery hits my hussars absolute chaos from the artillery pieces on this flank destroying this little farmhouse but I'm thinning my line so I take less artillery damage. Looks like we got a bit of a Russian advance, even though their troops are all strung out still. And to cover it, I did decide to send some hussars. I noticed that these riflemen were a bit exposed and are now trying to withdraw. So I figured if I was able to charge them and these guys were on fire at will, they would at least kill a bunch of their own. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything on the, the right. So some Prussian hussars taking heavy losses. 70 down to 70, 60. All right, almost to 50 percent. 60 percent, but they do get the charge off, and that's gonna do some damage to these. Ex not super expensive, but um, pretty cost-effective troops. That I am getting rid of. It also lets these Prussians advance and recover a bit. So, though this unit is pretty weakened, down to 36 now, um, it did accomplish its mission. Meanwhile, we got a little Prussian advance here. And they fire into the French grenadiers to withdraw very quickly. Lots of French vulture gears. And it's pretty still, a little bit of an artillery duel here. Oh, and we are getting some terrible, terrible artillery hits. Um, this howitzer, I think it's the howitzer making a lot of these uh, casualties when it overshoots these French vulture gears. And the Prussians are pushing again here. Inflicting pretty good casualties um, before getting ready to advance again. And there's my shattered Hussars. See where these howitzer shots explode. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's just got to be so frustrating because we can't even see those troops. Um, just kind of firing blindly and getting massive amounts of kills. 
Meanwhile, the French are kind of pulling back, consolidating on these choke points. I'm not really able to push easily on this hill because there's artillery right there. Which is really, you know, punishing a lot of these troops. Although, I kind of set my garrison line to soak up their skirmishers' um, fire because these troops have so many bodies per unit. And we're finally spotting the French on the far left. <clears throat> Prussians continuing to push. Starting to take this logging farmhouse area. Looks like there's another 18 pounder of the French there. Ooh, and another shrapnel shot. Doing some good damage. Just look at the numbers, the, the lines of the, the Prussians there. That's so many Prussians. And pretty soon I just decide we're going to have to, if we make a breakthrough, it's going to be right here. So I start sending over a bunch of reinforcements. These are Prussian musketeers and my elite grenadiers there <clears throat> which having played against those guys a couple of games um, in fact the last video the 3v2 I had to face these uh, Frederick Wilhelm grenadiers and they are a pain they're high morale individuals artillery duel is still going on not sure if there's a clear winner yet, but the explosive shot of these um, howitzers has been pretty devastating by the looks of it. And now it appears there is a general Prussian advance. Raphael who brought like somewhere around 5,000 something troops. Let me let me check, I have it. Yeah, he brought 5,620 troops. Um, just a massive Prussian army. And he is pressing in hard, which is good. I also managed to portray enough weakness on this flank to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 infantry and 2 cav to my 4 infantry and uh, 2 light cav which are heavily damaged by artillery that is just destroying right now. My goodness. Brutal. We have a general engagement. Look at that line of smoke. French artillery seems to have bugged out a little bit. Probably a saving grace for us. Um, oh, and we have a Savoy Lancer Guard versus Light Cavalry duel here. Lancer Guard is winning, but it's not as easy as one might have hoped. They should be easily winning that. I'm not sure why. They wouldn't, but they will win in the long haul because of morale. The front, these light cab are pretty easy to break, but not these French ones, man. And he tries to withdraw the Lancers. Ooh, maybe, and they break. Oh, that is a really big bummer. Because that means these light cab are gonna break. Um, Man. Yeah, there they break, they'll be shattered, but I'm impressed. I don't know exactly why that light cab won that engagement. It doesn't make much sense, but civilian hussars looks like they went for another charge and didn't have much success, but the Prussians are just pushing. Just absolute pressure on this French center. Gotta love seeing an aggressive play from Raphael. Well done with that. 
I am moving up as his reserve on this flank there. <clears throat> Ooh. What's this? A six pounder horse getting charged by the gendarme. And that will shatter those. Another uh, artillery piece of our alliance gone, although that will definitely damage that cavalry. Another, oh, that might be an old hit, but still. Uh, Prussia still keeping up a lot of pressure. Don't know what exactly that artillery piece is doing, but uh oh, it might get be getting some friendly fire there. Meanwhile, shifting my garrison lines to help because we have pushed back on this side far enough. And we are going to engage in a full-on line battle on the left flank. My hussars have been broken by this artillery. Really annoying artillery because um, it's in a really good spot. I'm not able to hit it. It's able to shoot right over my guys. It sniped my, my cannons. But a very aggressive Prussian push. They just would not give up the fight here. And now Savoy is an answering with its advance, meet, hoping to pressure the Prussian right, or the French right flank so the Prussian flank isn't in the air. Still more, ooh, looks like we've had some terrible artillery hits slicing through Prussian musketeers. Luckily, Prussian musketeers have a lot of troops so they can afford it. just have a very solid line battle still here as the Prussians continue to push I have provided enough support that he's able to shift uh, reserves to other flanks here we have a engineering team from Prussia attacking some French Republican infantry these infantry probably counter charge because the engineers are they carry grenades, so they can be very deadly. But now these guys are taking friendly fire from the back. Not sure who will win that. French are taking a lot of friendly fire. Ooh, some good artillery hits again. Shifting, oh my goodness. That took out almost f over 50 guys. Holy cow. That's so many casualties from artillery. And looks like they are shifting a lot of grenadiers to the center. And the Prussian lines are beginning to thin. They have been pushing hard and suffering casualties, but likewise, the French lines are also beginning to thin. This flank, oh, the artillery continues to do its thing while Russian infantry fires. At, wow, that was loud, sorry. Trying to kind of curve this flank in. I did bring up my conscripts as reserve and shifting over some hussars to the center figured there was oh stuff going on republican infantry charging prussian musketeers and a breakthrough by the prussian or sorry the french light cav 
That's a big breakthrough right in the center of the Prussian civilian lines here. And it looks like the light cav is going to exploit and widen that gap. In the left flank, just a solid line battle still engaged. Got some more French light cavalry moving up. This is becoming a dangerous gap. And I don't know if it's... Oh, it's been noticed by the Prussians here because they have a square. That light cav. Russia is moving some elite troops to help stem that cav. And if this had been a medium cav, this would have been over. Um... Unfortunately, Light Cav is not a great uh, anti-infantry formation. If the Prussians finally form square, they should be able to see off that Light Cav. Still have a thick line battle going on this flank. Oh, an impression charge. Look at this. Some giant grenadiers and... Uh, those elites, Prince Frederick uh, infantry charging the Republican infantry corps, pushing hard there in this center ish region. There are thick lines of reserves here, Grenadiers and France. Looks like that infantry there is almost taken out held on for a long time. Meanwhile, Savoy is in a heavy line battle here. It's militia soaking up a lot of fire. It looks like it managed to break some French gendarme there. Ooh, and we see some grenadiers moving forward. This is a weakening spot here in the center. I am finally making my move as I think this is weak enough and I noticed Prussia sent in some infantry to charge which ended up breaking but just that distraction was enough for me to say I think I'm going to go for it. If I march forward my fresh Prussian musketeers. Oh, I was chatting with uh, Raphael, telling him, hold fire once I get to you so that we don't get friendly fire, shoot my troops in the back or anything. These Prussians are still fighting off the Republican infantry here who have withdrawn just a little bit to account for that. But Prussia is just sending troops after troops into that. These guys did fully break now. My infantry is just about there. It's running up. I figured I would run and lose a little bit of cohesion because these are already on pretty bad cohesion across the board. They've been firing and in combat for a while now. So I figured even if I'm at standard or good, I'm well above what their average uh, troop is. So why take the extra casualties when we can get there a little quicker? We have taken a few losses, but now we are pouring some fresh volleys in and this will hopefully, come on, fire any day now. Oh, and we have the French Grenadier charge. Oh my goodness, look at this. Prussians are shattering. Savoyans are countercharging, but there are a ton of French grenadiers here. So the French charge into the forest and are really doing a good job turning this Savoyan flank, and the Prussians have been weakened and are focusing over here. There's even a, a light cavalry. Uh, unit moving up. 
throw in my light cav, hoping to cause some disruption, at least slow down the French Grenadiers. Um, actually, almost broke that unit with a side ch flanking charge. But I know that that won't last. Meanwhile, though, we do have my Prussians charging full speed ahead. These guys still in excellent cohesion. Um, sending in the musketeers first. Waiting for that counter charge and... Hoping to punch a hole right through this center. Prussians still throwing in troops here on this huge melee across the front. As the French are doing likewise against the Savoy army here. And Savoyan re reserves are heading to that flank, but it is a dire situation. Hopefully, though, some of these would recover. There's a light cavalry unit still there, and the French Field Marshal. Line battle still going strong, but we are getting some good charges in on the Prussian front. And the French give way before my fresh musketeers and grenadiers. And I, I seek to widen the gap. So my number one goal, though, is to get that artillery out of commission I'm trying to go for penetration meanwhile the French grenadiers are not letting up they are charging in full speed this guard grenadier here is holding them up pretty significantly but they have the numbers look at that Thick grenadier unit still marching forward. Absolute chaos as the grenadiers charge. Let's follow them. Yeah, let's get the charge. And now the light cav strike, hoping to keep these units breaking. I'm trying to rush over some Lancer guards so I can hold that flank if at all possible. My Prussian garrison there, garrison line, they broke, but we've achieved a significant breakthrough here. Um, and I'm charging in my grenadiers and a musketeer unit to try and take out this artillery, if at all possible. Ooh, some deadly canister or something similar, but it will not be enough to stop the Prussian charge. And as more Prussian troops turn the flank, and I move up my final reserves on this flank, uh, it's starting to look dire for the French. There is a French cav unit here, which could be dangerous. Meanwhile, on this right flank, so we've really got two battles going on now with France splitting our army in two. Um, Savoy is desperately holding on. Dan is conducting a pretty good, solid um, defense under desperate circumstances. I threw in, oh no, this is me here. Um, able to hold up the light cab with my Lancer Guard, Cohesion Chaos, and Terrible. So my guys don't have great cohesion, but his are worse off. Um, and charging those in, so hoping to see uh, that threat neutralized, because that light cab could take out this artillery, which would neutralize what little advantage we have. And the French Grenadiers, man, they just don't stop right back into the fray. The field marshal down to 
39 guys holding strong. Meanwhile, the Prussian charge has fully broke through and is now making its way behind the um, French here. Have these guys firing on the cavalry. Sorry if the sound cuts out. The French field marshal is attacking a square there. And Steezy's field marshal. So that's this French flank is now dead. And the French just keep going, man. I do, however. Break that light cab with 65 Lancers remaining and decide to see if I can charge into the Field Marshal and take out the Field Marshal with my Lancers. That would be our pretty much only hope is to get a, a morale loss for the, the French on this flank because they have really thoroughly pushed on this side here as we have done the same here and you can see the French are in full retreat now as Diego's center Prussian force just charges look at all those bodies just a bloodbath on the far left we are kind of wiping up the last remnants as um, I think this is Steezy's army kind of starts to withdraw. I'm thinking let him withdraw. He's got small enough forces that I need to help Savoy however I can. So pull out my Lancer guards and eventually send them after this field marshal. I managed to slow the, the grenadiers who are Though they've had a very six oh man that was a good hit sorry the French grenadiers really created a great breakthrough but they are now very weak 85 59 and 40 so though that they had a, a big breakthrough they need more troops to exploit it, and these guys need to be more aggressive. If they had pushed hard enough now, they might have been able to wipe out Savoy. As it is, some smaller Savoy infantry are rallying. My Lancers are running down the Field Marshal, who's trying to escape them. And finally, the French Grenadiers break on the right. Still a significant French force in the center, um, but a lot more Prussians overall. And, ooh, good, good volley there. As the French rapidly withdraw, I'm, I'm shifting my army that way <clears throat> to try and help take out this is what I feel like is the strongest French pocket and Dan the Mantis is pulling back to the safety of his guns hopefully to um, hold strong while waiting for reinforcements I did break the field marshal I was hoping I could kill him but I was unable to before they escaped from the map so I didn't get the full uh, debuff that artillery so these French lines here are very um, weakened but these ones here are quite strong and it looks like there's some thick reserves still in the back so if those were committed hard enough they could have wiped this out and I don't know if it would have made a difference at this point um, because I still had a sizable force and um, these Prussians still had a, a number of troops as well. Not a ton, but I think enough combined that we still would have been able to hold off the French. But 
the French delay. Um, maybe just went AFK or shifting a little bit, reorganizing, replanning, but any delay that we could achieve was beneficial to us as we were heavily uh, outnumbered on this flank. Dan the Mantis actually has managed to salvage a number of fairly thick lines. And as the French troops are pretty weak here, and maybe these are uh, controlled by Snake in the center? I don't know. Whatever the case, the French continue to withdraw towards the town with a little fortress. And the Prussians are now marching on this French flank. As Volchigiers move to confront that. Some elite grenadiers, wow. Those could be very deadly to this, to this force. Savoyans shifting left and probably trying to push this side. I remember Dan saying that he wanted to push outside of the canister range, which makes sense. So shifting left towards the, the forest. I'm also bringing my heavy cavalry forward as a good last um, end game kind of a option. Check back as the French withdraw, being matched by some Prussian musketeers. I'm just marching my conscripts that way, slowly, not too concerned. I'm just gonna let them hold, hold, fall back to the town and kind of bottle them up there while we deal with the main French force. A truly bloody battle indeed. Bet this would look interesting. Oh yeah. Or even better here, we'll do this. And then let's see if we can watch the volley go off. No, they advance. Savoy pushing hard here, around, away from the cannons, smart move, and my Lancer guard that is surviving, sneaking up on this right side, and my cuirassier kind of moving into the forest here, and marching a number of Prussian lines this way. Sound cut out again. There it goes. Look at that bloody battlefield. Maybe we'll try it from the French perspective. Oh, there's a helicopter going over. Volley. Man, those rippling volleys are so cool to watch. Oh. Oh, and my Lancer Guard do come in. 
And that's one thing that's really annoying about this game is that when the li when you charge into artillery pieces, your cavalry dies. So it ended up taking a number of losses, even though we quite easily would win that kind of engagement. And we break one. Um, this other one is down to 24, but my lancers break after killing too many horses on the cannons. So, down to one artillery piece, but they're not on their guns anymore, and it takes them a while to notice. Ooh, really good artillery hits. Really good. That's going to start causing some breakage as we continue to move up on the flank. I'm moving my cuirassier here. <clears throat> and this is starting to be a weakness of the French. There's weakness in those French lines now. Still a number of reserves, but the whole center of the French line has collapsed. And it appears that PvP had to step away or something. He went AFK because he's not moving up these reserves to a good spot at the, the crest of the hill or just below the crest. Um, and he didn't re-put these cannoneers on their guns. Oh, another good artillery shot. Oh, maybe he is. No, those are just reforming. Oh, and my cuirassier charged the flank. And are able to just disrupt and charge through. Yeah, absolute chaos. Those are their thickest lines. Um, and I was able to break, shatter, break, uh, that one's still wavering, so break two and shatter, um, one, and still have about, I mean, a few of them just died from an art friendly fire artillery hit, which really isn't a bad, um, result. Only lost a couple of have on the actual charge. Meanwhile, the last of the French are holding up in the town here. As, oh, these Prussians march right into the fire of the French, but they are undeterred. Well, man. So it happens when you get three chevrons on a unit. They become unstoppable. Of course, these units have at least one chevron now. And I realize there's no need for my reserves on this flank anymore. These remaining French should be able to be mopped up by what is left here from the Savoy and um, Raphael's Prussians. So, a nice flanking charge from these grenadiers. Ooh, good artillery hits. Ooh, friendly fire artillery, unfortunately. I guess we'll follow the charge in. <laughs> Meanwhile, marching up, the Russians here have engaged. I'm just kind of... I don't want to shoot over their heads and get a bunch of friendly fire, and I'm waiting for the rest of my reinforcements to make it over there, so. 
follow the final collapse. There's three intact French units here and one back there. And they are just getting swamped by Prussians on this side and civilians on this side. Is this the final part of the battlefield? I'm gonna go ahead and kick it into fast forward as we get to the end of this epic 3v3 and see the results. Well, come on. Shifting some units right, because I figured it could start firing on the, the flank here. Still moving up the Prussians there. Some French troops recovering, but they will be broken soon. And yeah, there's just still far too many Prussians for these guys to deal with. And I have all those guys there, and now all these Savoyans are making their way. There is a light cab there that probably could have done, well, it would have been held up by the river. Shai Sendi. Another unit to see if I can start shooting at them. We'll let it play from here as we've got the final engagement in the town. Oh, we can't spot them yet. That's funny. These guys got stuck behind here. Oh my goodness. How many are there? 30? Yeah, and two, I think. Anyways. Sending in some Prince Frederick Wilhelm Grenadiers. These guys have good cohesion, these have bad, so. I think the French here had run out of ammo or were set not on fire at will. So I was going to take advantage of that. We watch so some tall hedges. volleys tear through this French infantry before the Prussians charge, but they don't even need to. Those guys are broken. This garrison line has run out of ammo as well now. Moving on to the flank to see if our guys can hit anything. If they even get the chance or if these guys will break from the mere presence. The hell, they break. Look at that. Continue our advance. Meanwhile, the last 
a little bit. There's one French way back there, but that seems to be about it. A couple of Frenchmen left. Advancing the infantry on all flanks. Losing some grenadiers, but finally able to spot these guys. Now we're gonna charge into the building, but I decide let's take care of these guys outside first. And they melt before these grenadiers who then charge into the building. Wow, run right up a ladder. Oh, and that guy just got killed through a wall. Very impressive. And the final French infantry on this flank is broken. There is one more thing I want to show us as there's a really cool um, French field marshal suicidal charge that is absolutely devastating on my Prussians marching up that hill. So you're gonna watch that. But that will be a Prussian Savoyan victory on the battlefields of Zorndorf. Let's check out the final French field marshal's charge. I think this must be snakes, maybe? Because Diddy's field marshal already died. Or, sorry, Steezy. He has a different uh, Discord and Steam name. Alright, here we go. Ready for this? Actually, you know what? We are going to their interface ever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Absolute devastation. Look at all those Prussians laying there. Some are getting up, but really impressive. Like, those were some full units that are down to 70 guys. I probably would have had close to a positive KDR if that hadn't happened. But now, numbers and um, the general tide of the battle has gotten to them, and the French have fallen back. With that, I think there's like one unit over here breaks but that is pretty much the battle so we will hold up the um, final end screen here in just a second but um, this was just an absolutely epic and really didn't take that long it's like an hour long battle um, just a really fun very aggressive moves by Raphael as the Prussian in the center well done to him, as you'll see, he got a ton of kills due to that. Um, and you can see like where the lines were more static. Nice line battle here and here. And then on this side where it was more sporadic, you can have quite the number of bodies spread out. I mean, just look at that. So anyways, thanks guys for this great 3v3. We'll have to do some more again soon. Um, the next version of the mod should be coming out in December, um, probably early December too. I've made a, a good progress on it. I'm excited to share that with you. Um, if you're interested in this, hop in the Discord that's linked in the description. There you can find the links to the mod and join our community for multiplayer for Empire 2 Generals. It's, it's good fun. Um, but with that said, I'm going to make a cut and we'll show the end screen. All right, and here we have the end screen. This is still a bug I haven't fixed with the offset screen, but it doesn't affect anything. So as you can see, I had 49, almost 5,000 
troops um, lost about half and killed about the same amount. So pretty eh, mid-level uh, performance for me, but I still had a lot of troops left over at the end. Um, Raphael, look at this, 56. He lost 4,300. That's a lot of troops lost, but he killed 45. That's a lot. That's a, a whole army all by himself, um, like down to a man. Very impressive. Uh, well done, Raphael. I've, I've seen you get improve a lot at this game in the last just few battles. So that's really cool to see. Uh, Dan the Mantis uh, had 4,000, lost 2,000, killed about 2,000. Not quite a positive KDR, um, but he also had to receive that massive uh, French Grenadier charge, which explains why he had such a tough time of it with Kill to Death. Um, Steezy brought the largest of the French armies, as is his typical way, um, and it looks like um, lost a little less than half, or around half sorry 500 um, more than he killed snake pretty close to even uh, PvP lost a lot in that final um, bit without really being able to kill a lot and he was also subject to a lot of artillery bombardment which is pretty brutal but with that said guys hope you enjoyed this video if you're still here thank you for watching this far um, and yeah, I encourage you guys to hop in for more multiplayer battles like this. Join the Discord, sub to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Until then, have a good one. Bye.